Where were you? In New York City. When a thousand bottles evening. of lube <laughs> was confiscated. <laughs> One hundred thousand and, and baby oil, <laughs> pounds of baby oil. You know what's so crazy? It take me like three years to get past one bottle. No, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> facts. <laughs> the fuck? That's a fact. <laughs> yeah. And I'm a moisturized girl. Hey, you could go to Baby's R Us right now. They don't even got two hundred in stock. Facts. This motherfucker had a thousand. Like the magnitude. Mm. That you would have to be executing these <laughs> freak offs. Freak offs. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, oh my god, I'm jumping back, jumping back and forth. But seeing f the word literally freak offs in court <sighs> documents, yeah, so many times was like so crazy to me. It's like a legal term yeah, to yeah. them in this case. And yeah. the freak people saying like, it too. The newscasters <laughs> saying freak yeah. offs. It sounds mad funny. Because I mean, us talking about it, like, like people, you know, in the culture, like you know, potting or tweeting or whatever, we just say, "Oh my god, freak offs, Diddy." But it's in the court <laughs> documents. Like that's what they are professionally that's what they known say. as. Literally. Folks, there's still Dude, time wrong. to join Alex <laughs> in his yeah. celibacy against freakiness. Okay. No more freak bull, Alex. There man. is. No y'all don't need to be freaks anymore. Yes, you do. <laughs> no, you do. It's just levels. You don't gotta nah. prove to be the freaky is, cause that's what a freak off really is. <laughs> Yo, they think said, about it. Yo, they said it's the oh, off that oh, really like, like you can be a freak, yeah. but now we gotta have a the freak off competitions. Like, like nigga, we compete, like. we freaking <laughs> off. <laughs> Yo, they said they had the IV him. <laughs> Yo, bro, to bring him back to life. Yo, We're talking about Diddy, by the way, guys. Yo, bro, you know how much I you. Uh, you know how much sex you have to have and drugs you have to have hey, to like Reggie, to rehydrate years. yourself? Reggie, like, close your ears. After two, three nuts, <laughs> I'm good. In a row or like <laughs> throughout the day? In a row. In a row, okay. In like so, a session. So to find out that these free calls were occurring for days. <laughs> okay. Weeks. <laughs> for weeks even sometimes. So much so that they had to get hospital IV drip. To bring them back to life to restore the cell regeneration. <laughs> this was literally and, in the in the court documents. This is literally in the indictment. In the yeah. indictment. So you Diddy was arrested it. this past week. Uh, I was trying to set it up like <laughs> in chronological <laughs> order, but nah. you guys just went straight to nah. the baby oil. No, nah, my fault. My fault. We're gonna, we gonna come back. I'm the sorry. freak off is crazy, but Diddy was arrested this past week. We we had a feeling that this was coming. Again, uh, we're recording on the Tuesday. By the time this is dropped, we probably have got so many different details, updates. so many different updates. So forgive us for that. But niggas is freaky, so freaky that we can't even keep up. We can't even keep up. Diddy was arrested mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in New York at a hotel. I do want to kind of, I know there's a lot of jokes to be made, oh, yeah. but I do want to kind of like <laughs> yeah. get away from the whole like, yo, he was just so freaky that they arrested him. Because that's what I've seen people saying that. And I feel like that is sick because it's like, uh -huh. no, actually... He's a rapist. He's being charged yeah. with sex trafficking. He's transported yeah. prostitution. So like it is very serious allegations. Mm -hmm. Like we could talk about we could joke. I'm not saying we have to kill the mood, but I'm saying like these no, are very right. serious charges yeah. and For the sure. men that not men, like the people who are like on social media right now, like, yo, like all he was doing was having sex parties. Like I hate that's that. that's not it, guys. No, but, it wasn't. And, and, yeah, and just that. to kind of piggyback off mm -hmm. of the things that you said, because we, we go get these jokes off. But Man. before we get the jokes <laughs> off, uh Diddy's indictment was uh it was a Rico, racketeering. In, in total, and some of the charges or the charges were sex trafficking, uh, forced labor, kidnapping, arson, bribery, and obstruction of justice. Real quick, now, mm -hmm. real quick, mm -hmm. when I heard Rico, I was kind of like, why do they, you know, place it as that? Um, it's uh, Rico is usually with more than one person as a co conspirator. And, and more than one crime. And more than one crime. Type of crime, yeah. So that's alluding to the fact that, like, I think a lot more names are gonna come falling down the pike oh, as for sure. everything happens. They Absolutely. already tried to get. They already tried to get a lot of people. Yeah. And like certain other cases, and and mm -hmm. a lot of people. This is gonna be untangled. The documentary is gonna be insane. Yeah. The the facts that are gonna be revealed are insane. What I will say is, I don't wish death on anybody, but we've seen people like um, Epstein. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. What was that nigga first name? He's so nasty. Jeff, I can't even remember. Jeff. Jeff. Jeff a nigga Epstein. named Jess. <laughs> Jeff Epstein. Yeah. Uh, we've seen situations like that where he's connected to a lot of powerful people and then he ends up dead. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, something like a Diddy who's been around for decades. His reign of power, his run has been massive, long. The reach is there. We seen him with Trump before Trump was Trump. Right. Like yeah. and Trump always been Trump, but before he was president. And then all of the political connections, the entertainment connections, like when you are known for being that guy, the it guy of a certain lifestyle and a certain party 
and you you attract a web of networking yeah. network yeah. like it's gonna be a, a lot to be revealed and so Absolutely. what i will say is uh prayers to any of the victims For because sure. in this indictment yep. uh we see victim one and victim two we we don't have the names as of yet on who these uh who these titles are assigned to mm -hmm. but Again, we know there are people that are victims in this. So within these, we we again, I'm gonna get these jokes off. I don't know about Alex and Reggie. Yeah, I'm gonna get to talk it. about the baby oil because how much baby oil do you really need? How much lube do you need? Like how many buttholes was you in? Like hold on, 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 cited by the district attorney yep and i wrote down some notes and i did want to highlight these things right mm -hmm. uh the prosecution is alleging that his empire he used his empire to abuse and exploit women mm -hmm. uh, like holmes enterprises yeah all of his companies Sean absolutely Sean, everything he used okay. yeah they listed all of his companies like, yeah. and all yeah. of his monikers like they're really being so thorough love and, yeah. p diddy absolutely. diddy and Puffy, he yeah. used Puffy. employees and close associates to carry out yep some of these acts and to help him he wasn't alone of course like pierre mentioned this is a rico so there's going to be multiple people involved in this um one count of racketeering you read this down right mm -hmm. one count of racketeering all of those things um back in july see i was i, ha uh, I can't even tell you the bet i made i'm gonna tell you off camera you told us, you in told the chat. us the I, I, but i can't you don't want to say it i can't nah nah nah, nah. it's a serious topic Huh. Just know I want money, y'all. <laughs> okay, it's a, it's a serious topic. I don't want to say that. But back in July, I read an article that they had selected a grand jury mm -hmm. for Diddy in this case. When I heard that, I went, "Oh, this is very serious. Mm. You only select a grand jury for you know felonious types of events and activity." And long story short, the district attorneys, uh, not the district, the prosecution, they have to present evidence to this grand jury and this grand jury can either give you probable cause mm -hmm. which would then give you the leniency and the ability to then go to try and indict someone mm -hmm. or they won't so all this is the inevitable for me yeah. i think there were folks a little bit surprised because they had seen him in new york for the past two weeks right mm -hmm. even that was strange though but he did that be oh sorry you go first. no no go he yeah. did that because his lawyer confirmed he did that because did he travel back to New York to turn himself in and cooperate and that's why he was spending his last days in freaking Central Park and all that but <laughs> something happened which is what Alex is saying something happened earlier and then yeah. he got arrested earlier than expected that's yeah. what happened that's a, a why day, he was parading around New York a Absolutely. day before yeah, yeah. so should he have fled the country. <laughs> that is something everybody keeps saying, yo. That is. No, I'm serious. Wait, but if he um, if he fled the country, does he really get away with it? Like, I, I, I'm not too not, familiar with. I know there's jurisdiction. I don't and, think on a case like ex this. extradition laws. No, so there, it, it there's on. extradition. I get it. There's extradition laws in Bali, Mar uh, it, it Morocco. On, yeah, yeah. I get it, but I think this type of case, they would have found a way to extradite him. But to answer your question, Savon, I think Diddy's the type of person where he don't want to live like Russell Simmons in Bali, where. He has to complete... Unlimited free calls? See, you could look at it like that, but right? He would, but so he another, would rather be cooperate with the... I, I, I think he has enough ego and confidence in himself because oh. we've seen that he also... The district attorney also revealed that he's reached out to uh, witnesses of this case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, after, after the raid, after the raid, so I think this coaching is, them through. absolutely. I think mm -hmm. this is a guy with a amount of ego who feels like you know what, I'm Diddy. I don't want people to continue to look at me as a villain. And I've gotten away with it for so long. I've gotten away yeah. with it for so long. Let me take my chances with these very expensive lawyers mm. and see what can happen. Because if my name does get cleared, then I'm back on top. I could go back to uh, using my name to market yeah. and to be a draw. Yo, you know speak, what I mean? But Speaking after of... everything, like your houses were raided and you knew that there were there was evidence. One of the things in the court documents was like there's evidence of the freak offs because he recorded all of them. Yeah. That's a freaky motherfucker. Literally. So but he knows that those were seized, so, but you're still yeah. wanting to cooperate and maybe clear your name. Allegedly, and that's what I don't I know. I think he and, has that amount of ego. And they were saying when they apprehended him, um, the time that they did, they also found drugs in there uh, called Tusi, a drug called Tusi. I think it's uh in New York. In in New York, when they apprehended him in New York, it's uh Tusi is um X mixed with cocaine. Mm -hmm. It's got like a pink substance from he what they're saying. He had it on him, like literally in his room. When the feds came. Yeah. Well, 
they went back to the room and they looked through it and all that stuff was in there. The other thing he too, couldn't stop freaking that off. Alex was, was mentioning about the grand jury, they subpoenaed uh, three hundred. Uh, I think there were three. It was a three hundred uh, subpoenas that were sent out. A lot of witnesses and a for lot people of to cooperate, kind of what they've already saw uh, and all the things that they confiscated. And then like fifty people mm-hmm. were also, um, you know, um, as witnesses. So there's a lot of evidence that kind of kind of seems like really damning. I'm going to keep this in fact, right? Because everybody has opinions. Everybody has allegations and assumptions and what we deem to be true versus what can't or isn't true. I'm going to keep this specific point based in fact. The fact is, Diddy, is there was a video of you beating a woman in a hotel lobby. Yep. That is a fact, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. We all saw, we it. saw it. It wasn't AI. No. It wasn't word of mouth. No. It wasn't in paperwork. And, and it we sounds read. like Cassie's cooperating with these guys. It sounds like she's cooperating. Yeah. But going back to what Reggie said is his ego. The fact is, just on that video alone, you've lost. You have nothing to gain. Other than maybe to your family and your children who want to believe that you're the person that you try to present yourself to be. I remember his son, um, one of his children, they came out with a song directly after all of this shit, after the raids and everything. And he was defending his father, as most children would defend their father if they got a good relationship. He's probably a great father to his kids, He may be, right? Like, he, he could be, and even if he isn't a great father, the optics is, this is my dad, mm -hmm. right? I'm gonna ride for my dad. I'm gonna defend my dad, (laughs) right? So, with all all of and, and again, the video that we saw with Puffy in that lobby, right? Like these are fact-based things that we're saying. We're not talking about the things that coulda, woulda, shoulda. Yep. This is what <clears> happened. <throat> so for you to 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 still be out and about, because over the last few weeks, I don't know if y'all seen it on your algorithm, but you've seen him get been stopped outside. by fans. He's yeah. been outside. Yeah. Been outside. Yeah. Been outside. Yeah. So, like hasn't really been saying much, but he'll let people record and he'll just stand there. He, mm-hmm. he was in Harlem too. Yeah. He moved to New York two yeah. weeks ago from this and, recording. And whenever I saw him in Harlem, because I'm gonna be honest, like I always knew that he was from Harlem and he was from uptown Mount Vernon. and everything, Mount Vernon, in that Mount area, Vernon. right? Mm-hmm. I don't remember, and again, I may not have the greatest memory, and I may not even be tapped in in that way. I haven't seen him in Harlem. <laughs> no, no, no. You might have seen him at a club in Harlem, but you ain't seen him in Harlem. D- we like haven't outside. seen like, like you ain't seen him in polo grounds. You ain't seen him in certain trenches. I know what you mean. Yeah, and you that's, know what I'm saying. And that's kind of what it looked like <laughs> when you see the clips of G Dep and just clips of him and n- niggas from the hub. We like, hold on, bro. Like, yeah. you know, when you go back home, you did that shit. Yeah, <laughs> and that's it's, it's, it's like when you get caught cheating yeah. or when you fucked up, yeah. you go back to the one you know that's gonna ride for you. Yeah, it, it's the same thing. It's like, oh, let me go back home and let me try to whatever mm-hmm. the case may be. Um, but to to that point, I never heard of this amount of of bail. They said fifty million dollars was the bond or the bail. Now you not y'all know how bond works, right? Mm-hmm. Talk to me. You only have nah, to talk to me. Oh, where? You're hood, probably the hood expert. expert. <laughs> the hood expert. <laughs> nah, don't do that. But, you know, he wouldn't have paid 50 million. He, it's, with Bond, you pay about 10%. Mm-hmm. So he probably would have paid like 10 mil cash. So, but the number 50 mil mm-hmm. is absolutely insane. And 10 mil is still a lot of money for bail. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought they yeah. didn't even grant him bail. Right. They didn't. They, they didn't. He, this is what him and his lawyer were seeking. Oh, yeah. It, it, was, on, it yeah. was on the detention letter to the judge. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. They, and the feds, they didn't, they, 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 they were against it for yeah, a plethora they said no. of reasons. Some yeah. of those reasons included because they feel like um, he risk. was a flight risk. Witness yeah. intimidation. Um, he actually um, submitted his passport to prove that he wasn't a quote-unquote flight risk. But all of the things that we've heard about Diddy being a bully and mm-hmm. harassing people mm-hmm. and tampering with witnesses. And mm-hmm. intimidating with... Oh, yeah, yeah. Even as of recent. As yeah. of recent. To know that they raided your house and still tamper with witnesses nah, and try to good. intimidate, that's ego. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, and, and Mind you, his phone is tapped. It sounds like <laughs> prison may be the best place for him. Nah, sometimes you... Guys Meaning, said, oh. he liked baby oil and yeah. men, yeah. and he yeah. liked power structure. Yeah. Yeah. When you go to prison, <laughs> niggas got to let them know who's who. <laughs> nah, for real. Yo, if you're willing to let niggas know who's who with the... 
it might seem like that might be the place he kind of needs to be in this phase in his life. Like, think about all the niggas he's been going at. Like, his beef has been with Kid Cudi. Like, Kid Cudi's not the most intimidating guy. Crazy. I don't look at Kid Cudi and be like, oh, shit, yeah. I got to conquer you, right? <laughs> like, if you go to prison, you might... He might want to drop the soap sometimes. Yeah. And it's a le- <laughs> Yo, shut up. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. I do wonder what, if he is locked away in prison, I wonder what his experience will be. Like, how is that going to play out? It, I don't know. I just, there's it, a lot of people who feel very vindicated on today, too. There, there's a lot of people. Oh, um, yeah. Danny who, DeCain. There are a lot Aubrey of, Day. Th- it's all like, yeah. there's so many Jaguar people, so right. many different stories yeah. Gene, that have been put Gene out. Dude. Gene, all of these people. And that's the other thing about it, bro. Like, yeah. how, what is your ego? Like, God, I'm, I'm going to pray. I'm going to put this on record. God, please don't ever allow my ego please. to blind me yeah. from not living in reality. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's like, a prayer. Please. Because yeah. for him to still move and, and, and smile and come with all of these things, knowing what it is. And, and at this point, it's what you have been accused of doing, yeah. but you know what you've done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and just, you know, using your power to manipulate people in situations, right? I, I sort of feel a bit bad for the employees of his companies that were asked to, to change the bed sheets, that were asked to bring the lube. What was on them sheets? You know what was on them sheets. I don't. I never been in a freak off. And stay out of it. <laughs> Use your imagination. I can't even but imagine what it point. takes to fuck that's my point. so hard. So now I imagine need an IV. That's what I'm saying. That's actually so scary. Oh, Do you know scary. what it means? So like, now imagine that's someone's job, right? To like, fuck. Imagine. No, no, no. I'm saying like imagine <laughs> if your boss was Diddy, right? Uh-huh. You over here thinking you got a job with a mole. So, you uh-huh. know, he's just trying to attach it to his businesses. And then one of the duties he tells you to do is, oh, yeah, baby boy, I need you to go get some ketamine. And then... Get some motherfucking lube. And, and it's that's like, their job. And that's their job, right? And, and you're putting them in a very weird predicament because now they feel, okay. They're like, where, no, but I want to work for Diddy. I want to work for Diddy, but even if I want to speak out, who do I run to? And too, like. You've gotten away with so much over the years that yeah. I've seen because I'm an employee of yours. For sure. You've completely implicated me. And like seeing somebody with that level of success, you kind of almost want to listen to everything that they're telling you to do. Like, yo. You want me to walk to Brooklyn for some cheesecake? You want me to go to Junior? All right, we out, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Matter of fact, when we come back, I don't even want you here. And that's what wind up, what wind up happening. So. Absolutely. And it's like so scary. Imagine. I mean, obviously, we knew Diddy was one of the most powerful people in the entertainment industry. Like, we know that. But it's like so scary thinking about how powerful he really was. Because as Alex was saying, like, the amount of people that were involved in what he was doing for like two decades, like these freak offs were like big parties. That's why he needed a thousand. <laughs> that's why. Why are you laughing? That's nah, true. It's true. Because Keep I was just saying it so like matter of factly. Uh, it's true. Like, Keep going. The fact that you need a thousand bottles of baby oil means these are huge parties. So it's like, imagine how many people are in there. And you've been doing this for two decades and all your employees know, but they still kept quiet. Like, how Facts, powerful yeah. can you be? Like, that is so scary this to me. Like, nigga is 55 years old. Your dick is not even supposed to be working that good. <laughs> you heard what I think, no, no, it's not just him. He was obviously participating. He's but, a freak no, no. off master. He's, 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 watching, he's watching people. He's ordering people to do it with each other, which yeah. is even more sick. It's like, not just him. Like, like, for the people confused about what uh, sex trafficking What's a freak off? A freak? Well, by Diddy standards, I'll tell you. I do have the legal, legal definition now. No, get the legal definition. I'll give you the I Diddy do. definition first. All right, here go the Diddy definition. <laughs> We're going to the hotel room. Okay. Okay. We need drugs. We need NDAs. Okay. And we're gonna fuck. No, no, no. <laughs> Y'all gonna fuck, and I'm gonna stay in the corner. I might masturbate a little bit, but best believe I'm gonna record it. Just to make sure I got some dirt on you. So if in the future you want to come at me or you don't want to do what I say, I have this piece of evidence. Yeah. I have the literally the legal definition. Just want to throw it in there. Yeah. The freak offs were because I had to literally read the whole document and write an article about it today. The freak offs were allegedly, quote, elaborate and produced sex performances that Combs arranged, directed, masturbated during and often electronically recorded so that he can coerce his victims. Look, he took executive producing too serious. <laughs> he was just supposed to leave it at music. Yeah. They said he was a he hit was maker. EP and, uh, <laughs> they said he was a hit maker. EP and something as nasty as that. And then, like, on a serious tip, just the trauma you put people through just for, so you could get your shit off. That's sick. Like, it's so mentally sick. Like, I just... 
Wait, let me ask a question. This just nigga to, was a yeah, freak. I'm the just, freak. Just, I feel you, Alex. I don't want to be a freak no well, more. Just Join to me. throw it in there. Join me. Just to throw it yes. in there. Yes, I'm listening. If the people in that scenario, Alex, that you just mentioned, yeah. if everyone consented to that, right, is it wrong? Pierre, I'm so glad you asked that. If I'm a multi-billionaire who I've asserted, and I've asserted dominance over a plethora of people over the years, most of the people around me know that and can see that. What what is a yes or no, Pierre? Also, it's <laughs> it's like documents. I'm sure they have evidence of this, mm -hmm. especially after the raise. But the consent, you're not able to give consent if you're under copious amounts of sex, drugs, and alcohol. And he deliberately created that environment to take advantage of those people. Absolutely. Then your consent is not really consent. So that happened like a majority of the time. Ketamine, I get what you're saying. It's like ket if, yeah, yeah. Ketamine, ecstasy, GHB. But we heard these were the drugs that were being used during these sex these free calls. 